The Hero's Journey. Looking at Joseph Campbell's monomythical idea of the hero's journey, we see similar stages of that journey across cultures and mythologies. These aren't just mythological ideas, but are ideas that carry over into modern stories, like the original Star Wars trilogy. This is perhaps why these films have had such staying power around the world. Let's look at how George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, follows the hero's journey with Luke Skywalker. Unusual Circumstances of Birth while Luke's birth isn't directly told in A New Hope, it's hinted at in that we know he's an orphan and his uncle is afraid he has, quote, too much of his father in him. After Luke meets the droids C-3PO and R2-D2, he is thrust into conflict with the Empire. He is further thrust into this conflict by receiving the trauma of the death of his aunt and uncle at the hands of Imperial Stormtroopers. Luke receives supernatural help from Obi-Wan Kenobi, one of the last of the mystical Jedi. Obi-Wan becomes Luke's mentor, and likewise gives him with his father's lightsaber a Jedi's special weapon. After the death of Obi-Wan, Luke gets further supernatural help in the next film from the enigmatic Jedi Master, Yoda. Here, Luke continues his own journey to become a Jedi Knight until he learns the peril his friends face at the hands of the villain, Darth Vader. This is the test, where Luke must prove himself as a Jedi, and though he confronts Vader, he receives his unhealable wound when Darth Vader takes his hand and reveals that he, Vader, did not kill Luke's father, but that he is Luke's father. Even after this revelation, Luke proves himself by resisting the call to join the dark side. From here, Luke continues his journey into the final installment of the trilogy, finally resolving to confront his father again and bring him back to the good. Again proving himself, again by resisting the temptation to join the dark side, Vader instead turns on the Emperor. Thus Luke achieves atonement with the father. Finally, we see apotheosis of the hero, or the deification of the hero, in that, while Luke does not die in this trilogy, we see his father and two mentors from beyond the dead, thus implying that Luke perhaps will also live beyond his physical death. So in the end, we see how the original Star Wars trilogy is a succinct example of the hero's journey.